Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be grilling up a flying saucer. Let's get going. So out here in Southern California, we have Mexican restaurants all over the place, Mercado selling Mexican ingredients, and a lot of taco shops. And a lot of the taco shops we have out here serve up what they call a flying saucer. And basically what it is, it's a tostada, but instead of corn tortilla, it's pretty big flour tortilla. Some of them are really big flour tortillas, and that's what I'm making. My logic is, you know, maybe for like for a Super Bowl party or just to get together, you can bang these things out, cut them up like pizza and enjoy. I mean, there's a lot of cool flavors here. And if you don't have access to the big tortillas, just the small flour tortillas will do. And if anybody knows the history, whether this was just something that the Mexican cooks in these restaurants came up with to kind of cater to the bar crowd, I'd really love to know you know, if it's something that legitimately exists in Mexico. So for this cook, I'm using my flat top griddle. I have these two burners on medium high, this one on low, and the fourth does not have any heat on it. I mean, it's not turned on, but the transfer of heat over here is basically keeping my refried beans warm and my melted pork lard. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some of that pork lard and anoint my cooking surface. Putting on some very, very thinly sliced onion. Some sliced fresh jalapeno. Get it going here. These onions are going to cook down pretty quickly. Just off to the low side for now. That's some very finely chopped beef sirloin, some adobo. A little more adobo. Like this is looking good. Happy with this. Get this into the corner here on the just warm side. Keep it warm. Now let's prep this flat top for that tortilla. So I want this tortilla to basically have the same texture as a chip, as a fried chip. So I'm going to put down a decent amount of this fat, this pork lard here. And any type of fat would work if you don't want to use pork lard. And here is the tortilla. It's eclipsing my face. This is the tortilla I'm using. I got this from my local Mercado. But again, a regular old tortilla would work. If you use corn tortilla, then you're making a tostada, a regular classic tostada. Let's get this on. Now I want as much contact to be made as possible. You can see it's bubbling up, which is great if I was just warming this thing up. But again, we're literally frying this. So I'm using this, this is a big old weight that Blackstone sells, but any weight will work and you could use a big, you know, cast iron skillet or something. But again, you can, you can see now it's adhering to the, well, not adhering, but flattening out really well. So basically what I'm doing is, you know, shallow frying this essentially. Take a peek here, see what we're looking like. 
It's looking really good. Let's go ahead and flip it. Look at that. You can see how it's immediately filling up with air, so flatten that thing down. When this is done, I'll lift it off and it'll be very malleable, but it will harden up very quickly and become a chip. You can do something like this and have a big like a salad bowl and put it in the bowl and it will turn into a tortilla bowl. Yep, and we are done. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but a very loud helicopter is kind of orbiting around here, messing my video up. So just the time it took me to kind of rearrange my cameras, See, it's like a big old tortilla chip now. Let's dress this. First thing is some refried beans. So spread it out like it was a marinara sauce. And that was a 14 ounce can of refried beans. Put that meat down. Next thing it goes on is just very finely shredded iceberg lettuce. You could use cabbage if you want, but most of the places around here use iceberg lettuce. You can pile this on high if you want. I'm, I'd am i rather taste some of the other things. I want it to just sort of <laughs> get that lettuce off there. I want the lettuce to just enhance everything that's going on, add some other texture, but I don't want it to kind of overtake everything. Some thinly sliced, these are Roma tomatoes. They sliced into rounds and then kind of quartered each round. So they like almost like little pizza slices. Little cilantro. Some chopped green onion. I'm using a blended cheese. I bought it at my Mercado and it's a blend of queso, quesadilla, and cheddar. So I have thinly sliced, actually sweet onion in, in with that meat cooked. And I want a little raw onion bite as well. So I'm putting on some very finely minced red onion. Beautiful fresh salsa here. Some Mexican crema. And there we have it, a flying saucer. Maybe that's what the helicopter's looking for. They heard a report of a flying saucer in the area. <laughs> okay, let's try this out again. I'm just using a pizza cutter. And I wanna reiterate, if you don't have access to these gigantic tortillas, small ones do fine. Cheers. Mm. See that? Paper thin tortilla holding up all that mass.
It's so good. I love corn tortillas. I mean, a good, fresh, homemade corn tortilla. It's hard to beat, but a good, you know, freshly made flour tortilla fried, <laughs> it adds another dimension. This is so good. First thing you're really detecting is that just that crunch. And then it's just all these flavors and textures that play well together. I mean, the warm refried beans, that, that meat. And again, there's no rules here. Whatever meat you want to use, you can use on this ground beef, pork, whatever. It all works. But then you're getting that cool, crisp iceberg lettuce. And, 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 and it, I love that really finely shredded iceberg lettuce. I mean, on a hamburger, it's a winner. Mm. Then all the fresh herbs, and I know a lot of people don't like cilantro, then don't use it, but I do. And you're smelling, as, as it's coming up to your nose, you know, you're smelling that fresh cilantro and the chopped onion. And it, it's just, it's an experience. Mm. So good. I'm getting that nice warmth from the jalapeno right now. Man. For those of you who may not know what crema is, it's basically just, a, it's a Mexican style sour cream. And if you don't have this in your store, a regular sour cream will work. But normally it's going to be in the refrigerated, like dairy area, dairy air. <laughs> that was an accident, by the way. But this is just so good. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please do. Make sure you ring the notification bell. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. I hope you did. Today's beer is Victoria, and this is actually made by Modelo. One of my go-to beers. See you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Cheers.